Hey Pyros, uh, Rob Bronbeck here. Whoa! So um, I've been using this program um, for about three and a half, oh, yeah, three and a half years. It's called the Neuro Tracker. Now being being introduced to Stealing Fire and then um, Rise of the Superman, I've done a little informal analysis and I'm hitting 15 of the 17 flow triggers just with this system and the way that I coach. And yet with the recent, uh, and then looking back at, at, at Stealing Fire, um, I mean Rise of Superman, looking at those external triggers like um, deep embodiment, and I just wanted to share a little bit about what I've been doing and demonstrate it. Um, essentially we're adding um, intense focus attention, um, where we'll be um, getting immediate feedback, we'll have very clear goals, um, we'll be having a good challenge to skill ratio, um, we'll have deep embodiment, lots of novelty, and some consequence because there's going to be gravity, is going to be involved. So essentially there's four balls, there's four balls I've got to follow. 1.9. There's four balls on the screen, sorry there's eight on the screen, four of them are going to turn red. They're only going to turn red for 0.1 of a second. So I've got to have my attention so focused, at the same time though I'm going to be balanced all fours on this Swiss ball while I'm following four balls out of eight while they bounce around the screen for eight seconds. I'm just going to show you, but since adding the balance on the BOSU ball, um, I've, add, I've seen a lot more flow, a lot more enjoyment, engagement. Um, in this session I've done 500 times myself and I've also facilitated about 5,000 sessions as well, so I'm starting to get a bit unnovel. Anyway, I haven't got long on my video, so I'm just going to press play and show you guys uh, what I've been doing over the last couple of years, which has been inadvertently, I think, triggering, triggering flow. All right, let's go. All right, got my balls. Okay. My tongue comes out a hell of a lot when I do this. Okay, so I've been following my four balls. I'll type in the ones I think they work. One, two, four, and eight. I'll answer. Okay, now they go faster. Zero. So if I get it right, it goes faster. And if I get it wrong, it goes slower. So it keeps you on that, in that zone. Two, four, five, eight, I think. But I might have missed it, I think. I think I might have missed one of those. Yeah, I did. One point nine. So it slows me down. So we do 20 of these, and that's a repetition. And now I'm triple tasking. Now I'm trying to talk and demonstrate while I'm tracking and balancing, one, three, six, eight. Hey! Let's talk. Three, five, six, seven. Definitely got that. Whoa, whoa, hello! God damn! You! Well, how did that happen? <laughs> One, two, four, five. I guess that's spontaneous creativity, hey guys? 3.0. Alright, so we're back up to some of my faster speeds now, and here I go again. Oh. I think I've got it now, I think I follow them. 3, 4, 7, 8. So that's about my top speed. Now we're going beyond. Oh wow. Oh yes, love and life. Ew! Damn it. One, three, four, six, but I think I probably got one wrong. Okay, I got two wrong. So that's the neuro tracker. It, I'm sure it hits all four of the psychological triggers. I'm pretty sure it hits all three of the external triggers. Even high consequence, just looking dumb, feeling silly, being wrong, that can be risky. Uh, but adding the Swiss ball, adding balance, getting deep embodiment, um, and all the other social triggers and the creative triggers, which I think you just saw there. So um, I'm Rob Bronbeck. I've been using NeuroTracker to trigger flow um, in soccer, basketball, rugby, tennis, motocross, you name it. And I've been getting some pretty re um, phenomenal results and I wasn't really sure until I had the 17 flow triggers, which kind of when I, 15 out of 17, I thought, wow, we've been triggering flow. So. Thanks for listening, that was fun. I'm gonna finish my session and um, yeah, any questions, comments, please um, get in touch.